Hi, I'm Brian Olmsted, CTO of Visual Robotics. Today I want to show you how incredibly flexible our VIM 201 system is. I will demonstrate that with no changes to the quick pick configuration, we will pick still and moving objects, 2D and 3D stacks of objects, moving forward and backward, inside and outside. Here is a list of time codes if you want to skip ahead to what interests you. Our equipment is a UR3 robot on a cart. We have our VIM 201 camera mounted on the arm of the robot. We're using a PIAB vacuum injector and suction cup and a compressor in the bottom of the cart. We have a touch screen connected to our VIM controller to create a standalone visual pick and place system. For this demonstration, we'll pick boxes of Skittles from various locations and stack them on the cart. To start, I have put a box of Skittles on a white conveyor belt. Here you can see Quick Pick on the touch screen. I'll press Load Config and select my Skittles configuration in order to see Skittles. As you can see, Skittles is shown outlined in white on the screen. First, I'll demonstrate the simplest case, picking a single non-moving object and placing it on the cart. With no change to Quick Pick, I'll pick an orderly stack of boxes and stack them on the cart. Let's make it harder. With no change to quick pick, I'll pick a rotated stack of boxes. Now we'll pick a jumbled pile of boxes. With no change to the configuration, we'll pick objects on a conveyor belt. Again, with no change to Quick Pick, I'll slow the belt down and speed the belt up. Quick Pick is not hooked to the conveyor belt in any way, but it's watching how fast the objects are going when it picks them up. This is the original speed. Now we'll speed up the belt. Now 
now we'll slow down the belt. To show how flexible this system is, I'm going to pick boxes and then move the conveyor in between each pick and then move the robot in between each pick. To further demonstrate the flexibility of our system, I've taken a standard treadmill and mounted it on a rolling table. This treadmill is going at a different speed than the conveyor belt. It's a different width, a different height, and the top is black instead of white. If you will further indulge me, I'm going to rotate the conveyor belt so that it's going the other direction. With our system, you don't need a motorized conveyor, you could just use a cart. To demonstrate human-machine interaction, I've slowed the picking speed of the robot to more closely match a human. It'll pick the boxes out of my hand. I'm outside in front of our robotics lab to show that our product works anywhere. I have demonstrated how flexible our VIM201 Vision Guidance System is. Thanks for watching.